Hi everybody, Ruben Packer Hill from Ray White Tawong. Fortunate enough today to be joined by Nerida Connorsby, Chief Economist of our Ray White Group, talking with us about market forecasts and of course getting an idea of the state of play in the current market. Well, Nerida, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Out of interest, over the last 12 months, we've obviously seen the market grow quite rapidly, especially here in Brisbane. What have been some of the key fundamental reasons for that? Yeah, look, the market's been incredible and we've never seen so much price growth across Australia. And what's quite unique about the market is that it's been everywhere that's increased. If you have a look at units, if you have a look at houses, luxury, first home buyer stock, re you know, it's just really been across the board in terms of what we've seen. The drivers are similar, you know, it's been a lot around very low interest rates, it's been a lot around uh, high levels of wealth, people have saved a lot of money, uh, also access to finance has helped, it's been a little bit easier to get, get finance and so all of these have combined and seen a lot of people pouring a lot of money into property. Excellent. So that's still forecast to be quite a strong uh, investment sector, the property market? Yeah, look at this stage, South East Queensland does seem to be at a, a bit, bit of a different stage of the cycle compared to Melbourne and Sydney. Melbourne and Sydney do seem to be slowing down a bit, not, okay. not in terms of pricing. We haven't seen pricing get hit yet, yep. but certainly anecdotally, days on market seem to be increasing a little bit. Uh, we have a look at the Brisbane market, it's still got a lot of momentum. A lot of the auction data we're getting is continuing to show a lot of uh, bidding activity, a lot higher levels of bidding activity. The gap between highest prior offer and auction sale price is remaining very elevated. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it does show that South East Queensland does have a lot of momentum left. Uh, and a lot to do with the fact with how attractive the area has become through the pandemic. There has been record movement from Melbourne and Sydney and, and that population growth is really helping things. Certainly a question I get asked quite frequently, is the price growth because of interstate activity and interstate inquiry? With borders having been, or more certainty around borders opening last year, I found there was a lot of inquiry, not necessarily as much transactional activity. What is the data showing? Inter interstate migration has been a key factor in driving up okay. pricing, but it has been local buyers yeah. as well. You know, we know that there's been a lot of local people upgrading, investing. Investment activity is, is also a factor. So okay. there has been, you know, all these, all these different things that have really driven up pricing in South East Queensland. Okay. Uh, whether it will continue, you know, it does remain to be seen. It's unlikely we'll continue to see these extreme levels of price growth, mm. but it, it does seem the case at the moment that price growth will continue. We won't see a correction yeah. um, but I think hopefully for buyers you know it has been very stressful for buyers hopefully uh, the momentum continues but it, it becomes a little bit more manageable. Yeah certainly what I've observed is the majority of our activity has been unoccupied young families taking advantage of low interest rates will that be a determining factor as the market starts to potentially slow I mean we're obviously on an upwards trend still but a rise in interest rates predicted with the federal election looming. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, there's a lot happening this year. I mean, you mentioned the federal election, and I think housing affordability will be the, the big discussion point. Okay. And so, you know, that could mean a lot of things. It depends on what policies people take or government, ta or government parties take. Yeah. Uh, interest rates, though, is, is such a big one. You know, mm. we know how sensitive property markets are to interest rate rises. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't look like we'll have an interest rate rise this year. Mm. Uh, maybe next year, the Reserve Bank is continuing with a 2024 date, but it will depend on inflation. And at the moment, last, um, the last recording of inflation still had it within the Reserve Bank's 2 to 3% band. Okay. Uh, but, you know, we know things are getting more expensive. There's supply chain problems. Uh, the building industry is really struggling to get timber, for example, mm, yeah. uh, and even wages. You know, it is hard to get staff at the moment because we've had closed borders. So, you know, that could, it could lead to greater than expected wage growth.